الحمد لله ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا انه من يهده الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضلل فلا ينتج وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله شهاده تنجينا من عذاب النار ويدخلنا الجنه من غير سابقه عذاب ولا عقاب واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه اشهد انه قد بلغ الرساله وادى الامانه ونصح الامه ومحى الغمه وجهد في الله حق جهاده حتى اتاه اليقين فصلاة وسلاما على عبدك ونبيك محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كل نفس ذائقة الموت وإنما توفون أجوركم يوم القيامة فمن زحزح عن النار وأدخل الجنة فقد فاز وما الحياة الدنيا إلا متاع الغرور يقول رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن النصر مع الصبر أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام أما بعد all praise to Allah all praise to Allah the one the only the one who should be worshipped I bear witness that he is the creator of this universe and he is the one who should be worshipped I bear witness that Muhammad عليه الصلاة والسلام is his messenger true mercy sent to us if you follow it back inshallah will be in Jannah أما بعد all of us want to be a winners no one want to lose and in fact I like to be a winner too who doesn't want to be winning? Even yesterday, if you're following soccer, you'll find Bayern Munich won soccer league, FIFA club. And really, I was watching them, and they were up, yeah, I got the, got the cup. But I thought to myself after I watched that, who won last time? Who won the one before? What happens after they got the club? What happened after that? They will go to normal life. Nothing there. It's just a simple moment of happiness. And then what? Back again to normal. After we reach 40, what does it represent of memories? Now, even in winning in this world, if you think about it, if you think about it, what's winning? You want to win some money? We make it poor. You want to win health? You can get sick. If you want to get good, you will all get old. All of you will be over 25 like me. Who said that? We will be young forever, I wish. And if you want to be healthy, one day you will be sick. And that's normal. And worse of them all, one day you will die. Then really, everything has to go. Then what's the real winning? How can, be a, how can you be a real winner? The real winner, like I said, if you move away from the hellfire and you go to Jannah and you stay there, even the lowest part of Jannah, you are a winner. Let's see how can you be a winner. First, believing in Allah. First thing, you believe in Allah. Allah said, وَعَدَ اللَّهُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِيَا لَنَعَارِ تَجْرِي مِنْ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا وَمَسَاكِنَ طَيِّبَةً فِي جَنَّاتِ عَدْنِ وَرِضْوَانٌ مِنَ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرْ ذَلِكَ هُوَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ The best thing you can get. Then believing in Allah is the best thing to get you there. Two, doing good deeds. Always going, giving good deeds, doing good deeds. By the way, many people think that going good deeds is charity, giving money only. No, smiling is good deed. It's just a smile. Helping is a good deed. Taking care of people is a good deed. That's another khutbah of a good deed. Subhanallah. Third, you, worry, you follow what the Prophet is telling you. If the Prophet is telling you do something, you say, I'll do it as much as I can do. The Prophet said, don't do something, try your best to stop whatever. Yes, the shaitan will come and make you do sin. What should you do? The fourth one, fourth one, sorry, let's move the shaitan to the next one, the sixth. The fourth one, follow the footsteps of the Sahaba. How can I follow someone I don't know anything about? Then you need to know who are the Sahaba. And who are equivalent to you? Every one of us is different. As for example, I have a loud voice. I'm not in itself, maybe I said Omar or said Al Abbas. I have a loud voice. I'm trying to know more about them. Definitely, this doesn't mean that I don't know about Abu Bakr and Ali and, and others. But some of us is like Omar, some of us like Uthman, some of us like uh, Ali, some of us like Abdurrahman ibn Auf, and so on. Every one of us is different. Find your Sahabi. And to find your Sahabi, you have to know all about them. Read about them. There is a book, it's called Surah Hadith Sahaba. You can find it. There are so many books there to know about the Sahaba. 
Five. You have to get away. This is the sin. Shaitan will come and say, Come on. Have fun. Jessica is there. Whatever is there. Do something. The shaitan always comes. Yes. He may win. Yes. But what should he do? Push back. Push back. Whatever you remember. Remember? Go back again to Allah again. Have a hurry up. Hurry up. Go back to Allah when you do a sin. Whatever the Masiya is. Then, next one, the sixth one is always say the truth. Always say the truth. A man went to the Prophet والسلام, and told him, I'll sin. Always say the truth. And the man said, Okay, I'll drink wine. And he talked to himself, he said, Okay, the Prophet, if he asked you yesterday, tomorrow, if I did, can I, uh, did you drink wine? He told me not to say the truth. He said, no, I'll commit adultery. And the same thing, every question, say the truth. Always try to be, say the truth. Next one, fear Allah. Not the fear that will stop you. Fear Allah doing good things. Fear Allah that he's watching and he, we know every one of us is watching. Now our phones are watching. I gave a photo last time, Snowden. Look at Snowden, there's a movie, Snowden. These cameras are open. Everything I say is recorded somewhere in this world. They're really, if human to human, we're doing that and we are in the 20, 2021, how about in the 2021, what we'll see? Maybe there's a chip somewhere and, anyway, recording everything, subhanAllah. Next, again, believe in Allah and make sure that you do as much as you can. الحمد لله نحمد ونستعين ونستغفر ونستهدي ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا اما بعد the last one which i see that's why i kept it fight our our desires fight our desires our desire, every one of us is different in his desire some of us is showing off some of us is is making doing this that find your bad thing and try to stop it every one of us has many bad things some of us don't read the quran some of us we don't pray sunnah some of us we don't pray fault sometimes May Allah forgive all of us. But what we should do? When we remember, go back, run back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ask Him to forgive you. And when you ask Him to forgive you, be sincere about it. And try your best not to go back to Him. Ask Allah forgiveness, repent to Him, and Allah will forgive you. And then, when we go past the Sirat, and remember the winning part, فَمَنْ عَنِ النَّارِ Move away from the hellfire. وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةَ فَقَدْ فَازْ جَزَاكُمُ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا اللَّهُمَّ هَدِينَا فِي مَنْ هَدَيْتُ وَعَافِينَا فِي مَنْ عَافَيْتُ اللَّهُمَّ جَمَعْنَا وَرَضْ خُلِقْنَا وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ عَالَمِينَ وَقُومُ لَصَلَاتِ